So with its transition to BSX emission norms, Yamaha decided to ditch its 110cc scooters, which made the 125cc segment as its entry point. And the two new models to enter the same were the Razer 125 and the Fasino 125. Now before this, we had gotten our hands on the scooter, but it was in the hotel premises, which was not quite enough. So here we are in the rear world to see how it fares against its rivals and whether it's really worth the purchase. In terms of design, I would begin by saying that the Fasino is definitely a looker. The inspiration, as one can notice, is derived from retro scooters and as compared to the older version, the new Fasino has an angled front apron with headlights that are more concave. The midsection has a lot of flowing curves that neatly joins the new elongated sharp rear. Combine this with its livid color palette like the vivid red we have here and it scores handsomely in terms of visual appeal. Now the 125cc segment has a few of the most potent offerings, offerings that are loaded to the brim with features, and that is a place where the Fasino slacks. As compared to its prime rivals, the Fasino only gets an idle start stop function and a side stand cutoff, missing out on inclusions like USB charger or a boot lamp. Speaking of the idle start stop function, we found out that the system was a bit flawed, failing to cut off some time or otherwise taking too long. Now with the transition to BSX, the most important change comes right here, the engine. It's a new 125cc unit that outputs 8.04 bhp and 9.7 Nm of torque. Now these are not segment leading features, but what astonishes me is its power to weight ratio. 8.04 bhp for a scooty that weighs under 100 kg and you know the fuel efficiency is going to improve and the scooty is going to be a little bit more fun. The suspension on the front as well as the back is sprung on a slightly stiffer side which means you will feel the little bumps as well and this along with the light curb weight often made the ride felt a little unstable but pick up some speed and things improve considerably. The braking apparatus on the Fasino does a good job as well with good feedback and bite. So in conclusion, while the ride quality might not be as impressive as its segment leaders, there are a few things that work in the Fasino's favour. For example, let's talk about the weight. Not only does it make the scooty easy to ride in city traffic, but it also significantly improves the fuel efficiency. That along with the impressive retro design is definitely going to grab some attention. Hence, if you are in the market looking for your first scooty, then the Fasino 125 is among your safest bets.